this week's episode of Barefoot Sail and Dive, we find out that we're going to be evicted from the garage, so we have to finish the second half of the mold by Monday. Hi, I'm Erica, and this is my fiancé, Davey. We are living aboard our new to us Hurricane Damage Catamaran, Barefoot 2.0. We met in Fiji three years ago and have experienced so many beautiful places together. For the past two years, we've made the ocean our home, starting on our Catalina 36 in the States and the Northern Caribbean. We hope to one day circumnavigate the globe, but for now we are fixing our boat one step at a time. Subscribe to our channel to follow our journey. When faced with a challenge, look for a way, not a way out. So we have the first layer of glass in the second half of the mold. Been a bit of a slow start today. Hola amigos. <laughs> so we got one, one, you crazy. Uh, we got, we got, two, then. We got two days, we got two days left guys um, to get this finished. Um, we also found out that we didn't have a permit to be building something. So it's held us up this morning, three and a half hours of red tape. Yeah, now, sitting around and yeah. waiting, but... But now we have permission that we can be in here until Monday. So we've got today, Saturday, Sunday. Monday's going to be really pop it out the mold and clean up day. So, yeah. yeah. So we better get cracking in this. We need to lay two layers today, okay? Yeah. But it's only half the size, so it should be much easier, right? Hypothetically. Fast flash forward to like four hours from now yeah, and we're exhausted. And we're like, we only got but one layer good. done. One layer. But when you have a break for like three hours, three and a half hours, it kind of puts you off. It makes you all like relaxed and lazy and... So, here we go. Put the music on. We'll get Davy to do some more dance moves. Oh. More dance moves than me. What? Why not? Dance Why not? Babe, you're so good at dance moves. So here in the DR, things tend to change daily. Last month, there were elections for almost all positions in government. A new member of the Navy was doing routine checks and didn't understand what we were doing in the garage. We have heard different things. Some people state that you need a permit for any construction project, while others say you must have a permit to work on your boat at all. We managed to clear this up with the Navy. No permit was required. We are working solely on our own vessel, and we are staying on the floating dock at the marina. However, we were only given until Monday, so we'll see what happens. But no worries, I think we can do it. All right, so here we go again. Today's mission. Get this thing finished so that we can pop it out the mold tomorrow and then the day after I can have a day off. That's what? today's mission. You... He doesn't get any days off. He's not allowed. <laughs> As I'm standing here with a beer. But he's not allowed to have any days off. <laughs> no, I suppose one day off. We can go to the beach and play. Yeah. But we've still got to finish it first. Yeah. Couple of hours, I reckon we'll bang this out. Yep, yeah, and it's only like 11.30 now? Exactly. So, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, we're about to put the last piece in for over here. <laughs> and uh, it's a happy day. I think the smell's really starting to go to my head. So it's in an even better mood. <laughs>
yesterday we've been using these handy dandy little syringes to get the measurements for the catalyst. Um, so what we've been doing is about 8 ounces of the resin and then about 2 cc's or 2 milliliters of the catalyst. Um, that is slightly less than what we saw online but because it's so humid here, if you put the 2.3 that it was supposed to have for 8 ounces, um, it would go off so quickly. Um, so we've been using about 2 cc's per 8 ounces. So temperature and the humidity and condition. Yeah. Otherwise you have no time to work with it whatsoever. So. It's been a learning process, but I think we finally got our system down. Only 3% battery, but look it, we're done! Woohoo! Pop this thing out the damn mold tomorrow. Then we can move everything back over to the floating dock and uh, continue the job there. Still needs a bit more strengthening and stuff. Yeah, still needs maybe one or two more layers, yeah. but... Uh, that can be done on the dock. That can be done She'll on the dock. She'll hold her form now, so... That's it. Mission accomplished. Woohoo! Beer o'clock! Yes. Beer o'clock. Okay, so it's Monday. Um, as promised to the marina, we're going to be out of here and finished. Uh, the ribs have set now, everything's nice and solid, so I've just trimmed around the edge just to give it a nice, reasonable finish. I'm going to go around obviously and sand it later. Um, but uh, next job is to get it out of the mould. So the way I actually put these uh, forms into the mould, I did all the screws from the outside. So I'm hoping if I undo these screws, give it a good tap with a hammer, this should come out quite easy. So, uh, <laughs> we'll see. Look. Look at that. It's almost like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> there, it's releasing. Slowly. So did you have more wax on the other side? Anything I can do? <laughs> this one didn't have as much wax on it. Because I didn't have any more wax left. So it's uh, a little more stubborn. <laughs> yep. Just a little bit. <laughs> Awesome. Good job. Another one out. Hey, babe. Now a bit of tidying up in the garage, and we can move everything back over to the floating dock. Woohoo. All right, guys. So we finally got everything back over here to the floating dock. Um, everything's secured down. Everything's nice and shaped and formed. Nice and solid but I definitely do want to do some more uh, reinforcing, make the, the edges a little bit thicker, um, just to strengthen everything up just a little bit more. But we've got it here on the floating dock now, so no more stress with the garage. Uh, the shapes are done, forms are done. Um, looks pretty good, really. We've still got a bit of work to do, so what I'm gonna have to do is actually build a wooden frame 
to hold the roof in place while I make the windscreen because we with our new design it's different to the original Fontaine we're putting a, a one and a half foot gap at the top of the uh, the cabin top there so we have a viewing window uh, making everything just slightly higher um, so I'm gonna make the wooden frame as I said just to yeah just so we can place it before we actually make the stainless steel is obviously going to need to be measured out. The ones that were on the back here were broken. Um, this is an aluminium pole that used to be a Devit. This is a bent one here. So they're going to need to be remade. And also the viewing window up the top there is going to have to be designed into place. So we'll make the temporary structure and pop that on. But we are going to take a couple of days off first. So we've decided that we are going to take a couple of days to ourselves, uh, go to the beach and do some exploring around, and the waterfalls are open on weekends. Um, seven, isn't there? There's seven, seven well, seven. there's supposed to be 27 waterfalls that you can go to, and you can slide down some, jump in, jump off of them, and... Yeah, cliff jumping, and, yeah. oh, just fun and fun and games. So there's supposed to be 27, but because there hasn't been too much rain in the past couple of weeks, um, there's only seven that I think are there's also the lack of tourists as well, so they're, oh, they're doing a restricted... Yeah, yeah but we're going to go talk. explore some waterfalls tomorrow and uh, yeah, just have some us time without working all yep. day, every day. Um, yeah, so next week you'll get to see our waterfall adventures and then the week after we'll be back on the hard top. Then we'll be back on the hard top, putting that wooden frame up that I was talking about. Um, so that will, yeah, come in for the next week. Yeah. Um, we also want to do a massive shout out to all our friends and family who have been supporting us and all of our patrons as well. And the new patrons. Yeah, thank you guys to the new patrons who've jumped on board. We really appreciate it. Cheers. Thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed, you know where the button is. <laughs> Don't forget the bell though, because then you won't miss an episode. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Alrighty then. <laughs> <laughs> You were supposed to be doing most of the talking on this one. Yeah, I know, but I now I'm angry. Yeah, but don't be angry. I don't like when technology doesn't work for you, and the stupid laptop is not cooperating, so we're using the phone. Stop. <laughs> I'm melting. It's <laughs> a lot of sweat. All right, guys, so I'm melting, so <laughs> we are going to film this little clip just uh, nice and quickly. 